Uh, our first presenter is Ms. Mary Bentley. She's from Floyd County and she teaches at Allen Elementary. Her, the title of her project is Coding the Literacy Future and she teaches Head Start. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Mary Bentley and I teach Head Start at Allen Elementary. It's in Allen, Kentucky. Um, we have a little problem in our writing center. If you've ever been in Head Start or preschool, uh, it's quite boring. The children are doing things we did in the 80s. They've got their lined paper, they've got their pens and their pencils and their crayons and their markers. And nine times out of 10, they are in there drawing or scribbling, unless you are standing right there assisting. And most of the time you're doing hand over hand. It's not very structured. So we come up with this thing that we decided we were gonna get PBS tablets. And uh, my colleague, she's doing math and I'm doing literacy. Um, actually, uh, there is several coding apps. I was so shocked when I looked at it. Um, one is Tinker, some of you all might be familiar with that, that has a wonderful operating system for uh, the tablets. Um, they range from math to literacy to language, which all ties in together, uh, cognitive skills. As far as literacy goes, children of that age and Head Start, they see a letter, they see a thing. They don't know that represents anything. It's like a new language to them. Um, you teach them the letter first, then the sound, and then you teach them phonics, and then you teach them to read. With coding, it works the same way. You've got to start, and it teaches the organization. You start, have a starting point, and you have a finished product. Um, let's see. My idea is not only to do coding for literacy as far as uh, phonics and reading, but writing as well. Because I feel like when you're storytelling and you get older in classes, it's expected, the detail. Words describe functions, descriptions, colors. Children have to know this, that their words mean something. When they write it on a sheet of paper, they say, well, I wrote the word red. And you're probably asking me, you know, in your head, can a Head Start child actually write red? Yes, they can. I have three-year-olds that can write, and I have three-year-olds that can't. I have children that are probably going to kindergarten with special needs that haven't wrote the first letter. So when we got this grant, I was, like, so excited because I felt like it's going to help. It's really going to help, you know, even our special needs kids like Ms. Fight was talking about earlier, executive function and self-regulation. Not only that, it's gonna get their focus. And tracing the letters, I know you're thinking, well, she's gonna let them use their finger. Their fine motor, what about their fine motor? Well, their stylus. You can hold a stylus in a three-point grasp, and you can teach a child a structured letter with a tablet, which we all know this. Um, back on point, uh, Tinker offers a wonderful primary stage, K through eight uh, program that is amazing. Um, I'm looking into it as well as the typical apps for alphabet. Um, I have some kids now that know their letters A through H, which were just in October. Um, majority of my class do know because we did use Zoophonics majority of the time, which one of the girls touched on that. It's a great program. I would like to tie it into their tablets as well for their literacy and um, phonics. But the problem is uh, typically tied to, it's just not engaging to sit and look at a sheet of paper. And with coding, you use your words and something happens for the child. If you write burst, something will burst. They will see that. That word caused an action. It's amazing for them. And it just makes them realize, oh, I wanna do more. It gets them engaged. So the problem was keeping them engaged. That's a huge problem. So I think this will do it. I really do. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Uh, we have a coding club at school. 
my class as well as Ms. Kaiser's will be uh, mentored with peers, older peers, coming in and doing activities with the kids and teaching them the primary coding. Um, it's quite easy and simple for them to grasp. I thought it would be something very, very hard. And I have to do all this research and study and go to webinars, which I'm doing that anyway, because I'm just that kind of person. But um, it's going to be a great thing for our kids. And I'm so glad I got this opportunity to come out and talk to you all about it, because it is a great need, not only in my classroom, but I feel like in everybody's classroom. And what might work in my class might be different in yours. You know, um, if you see me today, anytime today, and you've got any ideas, or you're doing something on your tablet for literacy, please grab me and say, hey, Mary, you know, you might want to look into this software when you get it, because I'm open to that. Um, that's about all I got to say in April. Uh, I will have assessments that I have done to measure, of course, uh, the impact of the change and where our children are as compared to without before. So our control will be that they will all have uh, access to the um, tablet, but I will also be tiering because our children weren't, will learn different than what they're usually used to. They're not all going to be on the same level as they go into the tablet, so they're not all going to finish at the same level. But I would like to see that. <laughs> That's dream world. But um, we're going to get them to the best that they can be. And I think that they deserve this. And like I said, I'm very thankful I got to be here today. And I look forward to sharing all of my PowerPoints with you later. Have a good day.